Tell me stole fighthype.com here with Jose Rayo Valenzuela. Ridiculous knockout, man. How you feeling afterwards? I feel great, man. You know, um, all the hard work paid off, you know. Um, I'm happy, I'm blessed. And... Did you think it was going to go like that, though, man? Um, I knew if I hit him, I would hurt him. Um, especially with, um, I'm in way better condition. Um, it was kind of funny, like, the exact th same thing happened this time in the first round. So I knew I had him off, off the top because I heard him in the first round. And uh, I was just patient, and my condition carried, and my power carried all through the round, so I was able to drop him. Was a part of you maybe, like, a little bit nervous because you hurt him badly in that first, you dropped him, and then it was like deja vu. He started boxing a little bit better. You were still out boxing him. Was a part of you just like, why didn't this dude get knocked out? No, I wasn't worried because I knew I had the condition, you know, so I was, like, just being smart, being... I didn't want to be too reckless, and um, I just picked my shots right and, you know, dipped a little bit and switched it for the right hook. You know, you're usually a real chill and calm person. That's the most emotion I've ever seen you have in the ring. Was that, like, your most satisfying win, man? Definitely, uh, yeah, just because he was talking so much, he's trying to bet 50000 and all that, um, so it paid off. What made you say, look, the better goes? You won? Why aren't you saying, like, uh, he owes me money now? Like, why aren't you saying that? Um, I don't know. You know, um, the holidays are coming. I hope he keeps it, you know, enjoys it with his family. Um, God will bless me with more. Does the third fight make sense to you, man? No. I mean, I beat him twice. You know, and the second time, I kind of ended everything. If the fans were kind of, like, wanting it, sure, I want to do what the fans say. But, you know, I got my title eliminator. I won, and... Uh, for the WBA, and I want to fight the best uh, they, that's out there, which is Tank for the title. What, is that somebody you always wanted to fight, Javante Davis? Because it came out of nowhere. Well, he's the best, you know, so I want to do it with the best. How do you think you match up with Tank, man? Um, he's a great fighter. He's explosive. Um, I think a lot of, like, the, his opponents jump in a lot. I think I would be a lot more cautious, a lot more patient use my jab more. Um, I would prepare very good for that fight, and uh, I'll be re I'll be ready. Do you think that you also have enough power to make Tank wary of anything that's that coming back at him? Definitely. I got dynamite in my hands, and, and with power like that, you can't count nobody out. You definitely got dynamite in your hands. It was ridiculous, man. And that was with my right hand, too. <laughs> I kind of hurt it a little, little bit. When you go back and you look at the knockout, man, Obviously, the first time you heard him and you dropped him, but, you know, he came back. Like, did you, when you hit him again in that, I think it was the eighth round, did you know it was over at that point? When I hit him with the hook? Yeah, did you know it was I over? I didn't know it was over. Um, I know he fell. Then when I, I looked back again, I saw him, like, flat out done. So I'm like, oh, he's sleeping. So I, you know, I hit him with a pose next to his body. <laughs> Not mad at it, man. Was there anything that Chris actually did in there that was, you know, impressive to you? Or was it all just like, no, he didn't impress me. I, I pretty much lost to him that first fight because I beat myself. Definitely. Um, yeah, the first fight, I was sick. You know, I had got surgery not too long for fighting. So, you know, I think that had an effect on me, fatigue me. But um, that's why I was very I was very emotional about that loss, like I said. But um, I was able to, he gave me the rematch. I was able to prepare the right way, healthy camp. A big, big thanks to Robert Garcia. Hat out to his whole camp for bringing me in and letting me work with them. Uh, I owe them a uh, big time. I know you said that you want to move on to bigger and better fights, but the, the matchup with you and Chris, man, it's like you guys are almost like perfect for each other in a sense. He talks a lot of shit. You come right back at him. The fight, the fights were fun. It was like just a big time rivalry. I know you said you want to move on, but as a part of you, just like now nah, fighting that dude and the build up is fun. I would consider it down the line. I mean, if the fans want it, you know, that's, I'm all, I'm all for the fans. But um, there's other people, there's other guys I can dance with. You know, it's just a matter of doing it. I think. Do you want to rematch with Edwin De Los Santos at some point, too, man? Sure, yeah, I do want to rematch with Edwin De Los Santos, but I want my title shot uh, first, you know? Title shot, and then I would love to take on Edwin. Was there anything that you saw in Tank's fight against Ryan Garcia that made you say, 
he looks good, but I could take advantage of a few things in there. Yeah, um, he's a he's a great fighter, but uh, I think Ryan kind of just would jump in, keep his head high. You know, I would have to prepare very well for that fight because he's a tremendous fighter. But I'd be ready. Is he the only guy that you want? Only asking you because um, the rest of the three belts are now vacant, and you're in like a really great position now where you can fight for a world title, for a vacant world title. Is that something that you would want to do if you don't get to take fight? Of course, of course, you know. But like, he's the best. So you know, you I want. Better than Shakur. Or I, th I, th I think so. You know, I think he's the best. So I want to do it with the best. Got it. And just my last question, man. How many times can fans expect to see you next year, man? The next Ryo? No, um, no. How many? How many times can fans expect to see you next year? Um, a, a few more times. I'm gonna be a lot more busy uh, from now on. I oh, would also love to know. Do you think that knockout probably will end up changing Chris in terms of just like when you get knocked out like that, it's kind of hard to bounce back from. Or do you think he will bounce back? Man? Um, it might affect him. You know, he's one of the guys who. I think he, uh, it, it does hit him hard, um, so you know I wish him the best, but I think it's, especially with the uh, ego like that, you know, you kind of just got to, I don't know, Got it. but Thank you. Yeah, I wish him the best. Gotcha. Thank you, brother. Really appreciate you.